Welcome back. He is an uh, up and coming artist with the catchy breakthrough song that our staff can't stop listening to. Take a listen. That one song that talks about chocolate. Then she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 1975. That's right. That's not, that's the song, not the 1975 by Knox. And that is, uh, as they say in the biz, climbing the charts. Well, Knox is a Nashville-based singer-songwriter who fl uh, followed his passion for music. You gotta love that. And is now building a really strong fan base. Well, this was great. He was in our area, and Kendall did such a good job with this. Got a great, uh, got a chance to sit down with Knox to talk about his music career. Well, watch this guy. Knox, I'm really excited to talk to you. So I've been following you on social media for a while now. Uh, you came up. To on, for me on Spotify specifically. Now people are hearing you on the radio. You just had a concert here in the Twin Cities. Yep. You're really like making a name for yourself. What has <laughs> this been like? Uh, to me, it seems like, wow, this is just blowing up, but it has been a longer process for you. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely been like a slow, a slow burn, but in a good way. I feel like we're like really building a like solid foundation for something that's going to be really cool and really big hopefully here soon it's, it's been awesome i love it and the show last night was amazing it, was. it just yeah it just like blew my mind i didn't know what to expect i've never done a headline show here or anything so really yeah never so it, it was pretty cool it was pretty cool okay you really you know how to entertain a crowd i mean i've been to oh, I, I love going to concerts like anybody of right. a certain generation <laughs> right. um you really had the whole crowd going and i thought it was really interesting that everybody there, you had every kind of demographic and every age group. How, do you find that when you perform at other places that it's not just like Gen Z who's into your music? Like you have the millennials, you have Gen Xers, you had like children there. Yeah. Everybody. I don't really know. I think it's because, uh, like I try to make a lot of the songs feel nostalgic, like early 2000s, like rock, like, you know, my song Sneakers, like a super- You speak to my people. Yeah, you know, like- <laughs> My millennials. That's like what I grew up on. And so I feel like it has that, but then it's also new mm -hmm. in this, in a way. So I, it just kind of covers a little, and, and all the songs are so, are so different. Like, I feel like if you come to one right. of our shows, there's like a little bit of something for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it, it is cool to see that many people. That's actually what my best friend said to me backstage. He was like, dude, the the people here, it's like mind blowing. So yeah. We all awesome. knew like all the words to all your songs too. Yeah, that's what's crazy is like, everybody knows the deep cuts. And I'm mm -hmm. like, this is, all, this is awesome. <laughs> you said that, you said that too while you're performing. You said it's so crazy to me to be somebody who wrote this song at 18 in my room to being here and you guys are all singing it back to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. What has that been like for you as a performer? Just seeing that blow up. I mean, it's really, it's really mind blowing. Like I, I'm not sure it's something I'll ever get used to um because you know at the end of the day I get to do fun stuff like this and I am like signed to a record label mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it's still just me and like a couple of my best friends and we make all the songs literally in my friends like he has like a s studio room in his house you guys and, are like a garage band yeah like no joke so, <laughs> so it's really cool to just you know I feel like my job is to go hang out with my friends every day mm -hmm. and then when you get to drive across the country and see people that are like crying to the songs that you it's it's really it's like this like it's a weird thing but it's, it's it's awesome i'm like so grateful becoming a musician wasn't something that you thought your whole life that you would do correct no no how did this happen then that's a good question <laughs> um i basically so i took a guitar to college because mm -hmm. i was like i was like kind of a nerd and stuff and so i was like this is going to be the thing that makes me cool it would yeah. be did you know guitar. how to play guitar? No, not at all. But you I just was, brought a guitar yeah, and hoping that you pick it. it up. Yeah, and I was just like, I'm going to learn how to play this. And then I got to college and I started, you know, really playing. And I kind of was dabbling in, like, my last year of high school. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I basically, like, started doing it and played open mic nights. And when I started playing on open mic nights, I was playing with people that had been playing for seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I'm like, I feel like I'm just as good as these guys. Or, yeah. like, at least, like, I'm like... I'm keeping up, you right, know? Right, right. And uh, yeah, I just started like writing my own songs. And then two years after, like two years into college, I was, I just loved it so much. And I was like, man, I feel like if I moved to Nashville, even if I'm serving coffee to songwriters, mm -hmm. like I feel like I could work in the music industry. And so I moved down and 
And now I'm, now I'm here, here with you, are. so it's like kind of crazy how it all snowballed what out of wild, control. What a wild thing. Who really has inspired your music? Because you mentioned early 2000s. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of what you bring to the table, other than it being new, is kind of that catchy vibe of what I remember, a Fall Out Boy, a Dashboard Confessional, yeah, yeah. all these different yellow card, these bands yeah. that I loved. Who has inspired a lot of your music? I would say so, like, when it comes to the early 2000s, like, I would say it was always kind of the poppier side of, like, punk music, you know? So it was like, it was like Fall Out Boy, but then it was like, all American Rejects, mm -hmm. Boys Like Girls. Um, and then when I got to high school, it'd be, I had this like big singer-songwriter phase where I loved Ed Sheeran and James Bay, yes. and James Arthur, and, and people like that. And so when I started making my own music, it, I was like, man, it'd be really cool to make music that sounded like early 2000s, but then you wrote them like catchy pop songs that like Ed Sheeran or mm -hmm. somebody would write. And so, yeah, when we put those two together, it, Ended up making something They're pretty very cool. catchy. I <laughs> mean, your you. music immediately you kind of get the hang of it pretty quickly Thank once you. you're at Thank your concert. You. Um, what? How do you come up with your songs? I mean, some of those I love. Some of the things like Love Letter. Yeah. Love Letter Down. There's <laughs> Thank you. I, just really good at that. Thank how you. do you do it? Um, I mean, honestly, I really like the. I always think the best songs are the ones that you hear and you're like, how did I not think of that? And it's yes. like almost like the right in front of you mm -hmm. type of songs. And so, yeah, I'm constantly in like, I don't know, I'm, all, I'm constantly coming up with puns and, and a lot of them are really dumb, but then you, like, every now and again, you land on a good one, like Love Letter and mm -hmm. so, yeah, or like never mind, never really mind, you know, <gasps> yes. things like that, yeah. All of them. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from though, it's kind of crazy, I don't, I don't understand. First, by the way, first interview, First TV interview that Knox has ever done after the break, don't go anywhere. He performs, and I do, I've listened to the song now after the staff introduced me to it. He's going to perform his hit song, Not the uh, 1975, just for us when we come back. Back after this. Welcome back. Well, uh, we got a little bit more of our interview with Knox. Last week, he kicked off the next leg of his tour uh, with a concert uh, here locally in St. Paul. Kendall caught up with him uh, the morning after, and uh, in that time, he performed his hit song for us, which is just great. Uh, take a listen to this. I mentioned I heard about you on Spotify, a playlist just curated for me, and not the 1975 was the song. Yeah. And I'm like, who is this guy? I love this song. <laughs> and that is how so many people who have heard your music, it's now on the radio, yeah. which has to be wild. It's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I can't lie. Yeah. Um, this song, if you haven't heard it, you should check it out. You're going to perform it in just a second. Yeah. But it's called somebody, I need to know if this is true. Did someone actually come up to you and say, you're great, but you're not the 1975? Well, so I pretty much had somebody say, I was trying to be cool, and I said that I had a record deal. I was like, yeah, no, no. I said I was a musician, and when you tell anybody yeah. you're a musician, they're like, oh, oh sure, yeah, yeah, they're like, I bet you are, and I was like, no, no, I'm <laughs> really signed am. to Atlantic Grab. Like, I'm like, yeah, I was trying to be cool, and uh, yeah, they said, well, that's cool, but you'll never be Maddie Healy, and I thought that was the funniest thing, because I love the 1975, yeah. And I just, thought, I just thought that was so funny. And the next morning I woke up and we wrote that song. <laughs> just because of that conversation. He's yeah. commented on this, right? Yeah, yeah, he DM'd me. It was really <laughs> funny. It was really funny. He said, congrats on the song. And then he sent another message that said, give me a million dollars. And I was like, no. Next record. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Next record. I said, if I make two, then you can have one of them. But I have to have some for myself. But, I you know, I think we're a ways that. away from that still, so we'll see. Well, um, I want to hear the song. You're doing an acoustic performance for it now. We really appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. It's been awesome. Um, you can find about more about Knox here at his website. Let's hear Not the 1975. Vodka soda and baggy jeans Using none of that art degree She's a type to just look at me Then write me off, write me off in a moment We're in a city full of strangers But I've got faith in 20 bucks in my pocket So I said, DJ, can you play her? That one song that talks about chocolate And she said, I like your confidence But you're not the 1975 and no lie, that's quite the compliment But I'm not really looking for somebody tonight Then I said, girl, I might not be famous yet But I'm gonna put you in a song that I write The 
And she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 197, the 1975. I've been feeling a little sweet Oh, I got jokes, she don't show her teeth No, she's not losing a lick of sleep When she writes me off, breaks me down to my lowest We're in a city full of strangers But it feels like something's up in the air tonight So I said, DJ, can you play her? That one song that talks about Caroline she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 1975. And no lie, that's quite the compliment, but I'm not really looking for somebody tonight. And I said, girl, I might not be famous yet, but I'm gonna put you in a song that I write. And she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 197, the 1975. Said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 1975. And no lie, that's quite the compliment, but I'm not really looking for somebody tonight. And I said, girl, I might not be famous yet, but I'm gonna put you in a song that I write. And she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 1970, the 1975. That was great. Yeah. That was great. I, he, you know, we don't do a lot of musical acts uh, on the show because we're not really equipped for that. That's really not what we do. We have Erin Schwab on because, well, she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but we, we're not really equipped for it. But that was, thank you and, yeah. and Addy, our social media maven, for bringing uh, him to us. And uh, photographer Eric, that was yes. beautifully lit Beautiful and shot, shot and looked fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, He's excellent. Um, Addie and I like to go to concerts, so I had messaged her when I heard about him. I love this guy, you'll love him too. She's like, oh my gosh, I also have just heard about him. We go, everything he plays is so catchy. Knox Morris is his real name, by yeah. the way. I did ask him, like, is that your real name? It is, he's gonna, he really is gonna be big and he's just the nicest, coolest guy. So. Love to hear that. Knox has a new song coming out this Friday called Change Your Mind. You can follow him, bloop, on Instagram or head to musicbynox.com for more info and his uh, music and tour dates near you. We'll be right back with some head scratching headlines right after this. That was great, Kendall. That was great.